Hello and welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I do exactly that, or I hope to do exactly that. I'm going to attempt today's Times Crossword. We've been doing this, um, well, we're up to episode about 28 now, so I guess that's that's quite that's quite a lot of months we've been doing this, isn't it? Seven months. Um, and um, yeah, the idea is I'll live solve it, I'll talk through my thoughts, and hopefully for those of you who are relatively new to cryptic crosswords, this will this will be somewhat useful in learning some of the tricks of the trade. Um, I have checked the snitch rating today. Those of you who don't know, the snitch rating is an unofficial measure of the difficulty of the Times crossword. And um, it's very clever the way the snitch rating works. Um, and it is a very good guide to how hard a puzzle is. This one, as usual for Friday, is high, harder than average, but not monstrously difficult. There have been two other puzzles this week that have been harder than the one we're about to attempt um, and yeah th th this week has been has had some excellent puzzles in it but this one should still be on the difficult side but anyway let's get cracking and see how we get on um, one across boast about compound somewhere in the Midlands I mean this is going to be a place that's somewhere in the Midlands I've got uh, Leicester I was thinking no it's not uh, boast boast could be brag crow Um, a compound is that like going to be an ester I mean let ester is a compound or an or ether I don't know I've got I obviously haven't got it but we've had some ideas <laughs> all right let's go put on clothing that's ultimately inferior put on feigned donned Hmm. I mean, there's an interesting question here about what the definition is. So again, if you've not done a cryptic crossword before, there is always a definition in, in these strings of words that make up strange sentences. There's always going to be one word or one part of the clue that is just a straight, quick crossword clue, a normal definition. It's almost always at the start or the end of the clue. Normally, I can instantly detect where it is just because I'm experienced at reading them. Here, I'm not sure. Um, the way I'm reading it at the moment is I need a word for put on that's going to clothe, surround the ultimate letter of the word that, which is a T, for, to give something that means inferior. I was thinking stale, but I don't know. Um, put on. Uh, I mean, it, ultimately inferior could also be the R, the last letter of inferior on clothing no i don't know I'm not sure I'm not getting not not a good start succeeded now believe it or not succeeded can be um abbreviated to s again i trot this out every week but it, it bears re uh, repeating you can't just abbreviate any word in a cryptic crossword to its initial and use it for wordplay it has to be supported by the dictionary and you may say well there's no there's no way succeeded can be abbreviated to s well i will show you Let's put S into the dictionary and then we can uh, now now it won't be there and that will be embarrassing, but I think it will be. Um, there, there we go. Succeeded. <laughs> it is a real uh, so S is a real abbreviation of the word succeeded. I presume this comes from family trees um, and hereditary or something like that. Um, so um, the moment I'm seeing succeeded, here, I'm thinking S and that goes after initially disregarding rotten after initially disregarding rotten it sounds like it's a word for rotten that has lost its initial letter and the whole thing means tips i was thinking of lists um tilts rotten I don't know it again. All right, let's try six down. Excellent result for champion. Upshot. No. That, see, that, that's not going to be right, because what, what my brain has clued in on there is a synonym for result, which is the middle word of the clue. And the middle word of the clue is almost always not going to be the definition. Um, excellent. Gosh, I'm not doing very well here, am I? We, we need to actually get an answer. Let me just, I'm just scanning the clues to see if I can see something. 
Um, I can do this one. <laughs> 12 across. Guys in Hamlet manufactured cheese. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, words like manufactured often indicate anagrams. So how can we get nine letters that we need to anagram here? It's not immediately obvious, is it? But actually, it's just referring to an anagram of the word Hamlet. Uh, and we need to put an anagram, of, uh, or we need to put a word a synonym for guys, three letter synonym for guys, inside an anagram for Hamlet. And that will give us a word, a name of a cheese. And one, once you see it that way, and you think, well, how many synonyms are there for guys that are three letters long? Hopefully, you're thinking of men, emmental. Is going to be the answer and we're off to the we're off to the races at last let's try five down with an m in it go on take it no pressure i mean what on earth is that talking about i mean it sounds like it's a word for take it without a p for pressure and it means go on and I don't know it. Uh, let's try. Well, this has probably got the, hasn't it, as its second letter. Energy in fire might not be dispersed temporarily for the time being. I mean, it must be that, mustn't it? Temporarily for the time being. Let, let's put that in um, and, and then try and justify it. So how, how does this work? Energy is going to be E, probably in fire okay and that could be in an anagram a fire might not how many letters do we need all together we need 9 15 okay so f oh maybe it's e in fire might not is that the right number of letters that that is 15 letters oh no actually i prefer no it's going to be e for energy in an anagram of fire might not be and that will have a B in it, which is necessary for this B. And that will give us for the time being. I'm not going to absolutely relig religiously check it, but I, I feel that, that that must be the answer. Let's go back to this one. This has got F in it. So now if we put F here, uh, S here for the succeeds. So it means tips. Um, lifts. Mm, hefts. Theft. Initially disregarding rotten. So we need a five letter word that means rotten. That's got a fourth letter of F. Uh, I'm guessing this might be a T. My brain is not telling me that. Let's try this one. Uh, just one snitch spilled the beans. Just one. Soul, solitary, just, or it could, mm. spilled the beans. If you spill the beans, you sort of tell, don't you? You, loose lips sink ships. I don't know, 14 across. Immediately provides some info. Stat. Okay, yeah. So stat is a double definition. This stat can mean immediately, and if you provide and some info, information, some data is a stat. So that gives us a T in this one. Maverick's just flying over. Hello, Maverick. Um, Maverick's let me get away with nine minutes before he's interrupted the video today. Let's try this one with a B in it. Plant overturned military intelligence plot. Okay, so. Military intelligence is a, that's I mean that's a strange phrase, isn't it? And I think it can probably be abbreviated to MI. Um, I, I, I'm I'm going to enter in bed here, so I'm not changing my answer. So so that allows me to look this up. Um, MI. Let's see, military intelligence. There we go. So what we've got is an overturned MI, which gives us IM. A word for a plot is a bed. You might have a, a bed in your garden. Um, plot of land um, and if you plant something you embed it so that's how that one works now 23 live I'm immediately thinking dwell here and be successful do well yes if you do well you you're successful 
And if you rem if we take, and that has an absence of love, well, a love score in tennis is a zero or an O, and zero and O are, uh, are, are considered um, synonymous in, in crosswords. Maybe actually it might be supported by Roman numerals. Is there a Roman numeral for zero? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so be successful is to do well with an absence of the O gives us dwell and that means live. And now what on earth is that then? What do we think this, this letter is going to be? Gal or gel? I don't know, not really, not really sure about that. Some, oh, silica gel then. Small and badly fitted with one metal frame for drying material. It must be silica gel. Uh, I haven't understood quite why yet. Small can be S. Badly fitted, badly is ill. Fitted with one, that's this, uh, one and I are synonymous. Again, one is the Roman numeral, uh, or I is the Roman numeral for number one. A metal frame is a cage. So you've got I cage in S ill. So it's very conv convoluted wordplay. Imagine if you, if you cut the end off this clue, so you didn't have the definition. Imagine trying to pass this and work out that it was silica gel. It would be monstrously hard. But you could see, once we had the G and the L, we could do it quite quickly. Um, 16 down. Can I, can I see a word that fits there? Not immediately. Let's have a look. It's shifted inside lorry. A lorry is an arctic sometimes with artistic oh yeah with skill artistic okay so we've got arctic here for a lorry articulated uh, it's shifted is an anagram of the word it's so we've got arctic around ist which gives us artistic which means with skill um now scandinavian girl beginning to enjoy that's probably that e i'm not sure riding a bike so um Scandinavian girl. So it could be the name of it. It could be a, a Scandinavian girl's name. And the whole thing will be a way of a stride. Oh, Astrid is a stride. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't thinking of Astrid until I saw the word a stride. I was trying to think of ways of riding a bike. Um, and OK, so obviously Astrid plus the beginning to the word enjoy gives us uh, a stride and you can ride a bike if you're a stride a stride it so husband again i know husband could be h had trouble ailed ale so hail maybe oh sp oh it's going to be something like nasty messages it's going to be spam mail or something is it or junk mail accepting the first of many nasty messages well what's it's something mail um husband had trouble i mean that trouble must be ale i think and that's accepting m which is the first of many so i'm now thinking that this husband isn't h which is surprise hate mail oh had eight that's clever so it is h um Again, I, I, I talk about this every week, but it bears repeating because look, it's just it's just tripped me up a little bit there. There is nothing superfluous in a good cryptic crossword clue. Every letter should be important. Every word should be there for a reason. There should be so this word had here is doing is doing a clever thing because husband H had could be saying um, let's give the husband trouble and that would create the word hail h plus ale which is how i was originally thinking of the clue but actually this word had is being used in a different way uh, if you have have food you eat it in the past tense you ate it you had it so h plus eight for had plus ale for trouble all accepts m for the first letter of many to give nasty messages hate mail um so yeah, they, they, you shouldn't see. So in this clue, for example, a short film showing great passion. Now, what's the purpose of that A at the start of the clue? If this film read short, if this, sorry, clue read uh, short film showing great passion, it doesn't change the meaning of the clue at all. So why is the A there? And I'm presuming the A is there because it probably begins with A and then we have a short word for a film 
avid yeah there we go look we've got a video um so sh so that so it's a great example of why you must pay attention to every single thing in a cryptic clue it should all be there for a reason so we've got a plus vid gives us great great a word for great passion if you're avid you have great passion about something right 18 across farm workers finally produce sweet corn after flood retreats and also sorry just while i'm i'm in sort of uh teaching mode um it's it's quite useful i think i'm wondering if this is dairy men <laughs> sorry that's my brain's going off in different directions but the um when I read that clue, I didn't say farm work has finally produced sweet corn after flood retreats. I read it in a very stochastic manner, very staccato. I'm trying to I'm trying to pick away at the individual pieces of it. Now, now can I justify dairy men here? I can't, I haven't understood why. If it is dairy men, I just see it's it fits and dairy men could be farm workers finally produce could be e or maybe finally produce sweet corn is e and n e and then the final letter of sweet corn which would be n after flood oh myriad a myriad's a lovely word for a flood you have a myriad of something you have a flood of it so myriad reverses plus e n which are the final letters of produce and sweet corn so dairy men is right now so singleton just one snitch spilled the beans let on if you let on you spill the beans don't you if you snitch on somebody you sing on them very nice clue i should have got that more quickly though uh, ten across stigmas at heart causing indignity mostly stigmas at heart is making me think of the letter g because it is the heart of the word stigma uh, g causing indignity oh no see i don't like that actually because that would imply that the answer means mostly. And you don't tend to see words like mostly as definitional. Because we have to remember that the constructor is, is dividing the clue into two pieces. There's going to be a definition and wordplay. And how do you make wordplay? Well, you shorten words, don't you? Or you anagram words. And words like mostly are very good indicators that you need to shorten something. You're taking most of a word. So I'm expecting that this mostly is, so we need a word for a causing indignity and we're going to take most of that word. So that would imply that this, this is a word which means stigmas. But again, stigmas is plural. So I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure. Uh, so we've done well in the sort of southeast, but we haven't done very well anywhere else. Let's try, well, let's try 20 down. Shows distress cries about, well, it is cries, isn't it? Because it's crises. So we've already seen S and small being synonymous. Let me just show you that one. Um, boom. Let's see if we can find it. Where is small being uh, justified? Now I won't find it and everyone... I'm actually not finding it. That's a bit odd. Um, I know. Where is it? <laughs> That's weird. I didn't see it there. It should be there. <laughs> Did I just not see it? It's not there, is it? I don't think. I'm, I'm going in alphabetical order as I read it. Well, that's interesting. Maybe my version of chambers is i mean this is an old version of chambers um let, how could you find out info is that it here we go Le yeah there you go look it was published this did this did the dictionary in this software was published in 2003 so it's 20 years out of date so maybe there is a reason that small has found it into the dictionary um as well have it having s as an abbreviation i can't justify it to you there but it, it can be honestly you'll have to take my word for it so we've got shows distress cries around s for small 
to give crises, which are certainly emergencies. We know we only get an S at the end of 24. Let's try 13 down. I mean, this 13 down and one across and six across, these are, you know, these are the money clues, aren't they? If you get these, well, disorganized mafiosi is a nice start because that shouts to me anagram of the word mafiosi because, and, and the reason... The reason for that is twofold. Firstly, disorganized is such a good anagram indicator. Secondly, mafiosi is such a strange collection of letters. You sort of think, why is that in the clue? Um, and it must be because the constructor needs those specific letters. Um, oh, disorganized mafiosi. Centrally involved in violent. Well, this is funny, actually. I'm wrong, aren't I? I'm wrong, I think. I haven't actually got the... Oh, shambolic. I have got it now. <laughs> I've just so I've just spent about a minute explaining to you how confident I am this is an anagram of mafiosi and I'm not right. Uh, that's that's just embarrassing. But it's also clever setting. So we have to we have to nod our nod our heads and tilt our caps to the constructor for fooling us here. Um, all right. So let's think about well, let me go through all my thought processes. So I was convinced it was an anagram of mafiosi. And then I need two more letters to get to nine letters. I see centrally involved. Okay, well, that sounds like it's the central letter of the word involved. Wait a minute. Involved has an even number of letters. So it doesn't really have a center. So I'm already thinking something's wrong here. Um, and then I realized that I could read the clue a different way. I could take the word mafiosi and find its center. And its centre is an I. And I could involve that I in violent. Okay, violent can be an anagram indicator. It means to break things, doesn't it? To do violence to something. Mob clash is eight letters. So I can anagram mob clash, put I in the middle of it. And can I come up with a word that means disorganised? I can. There we go. So the constructor got us there, but we, we got there in the end. So let's try this one. 13 down. Lack of transport in southern metropolitan area. Well, I don't know what this is yet. Scarcity. I do know what it is. I was going to say southern. That's S. Metropolitan area. I'm thinking city. So and city feels like a very nice way to end the clue. Certainly the itty part of it, doesn't it? And so I'm looking for a... a a word for transport, three letters to put in the middle of this. And it's not too difficult then to come up with scarcity, which means lack. Um, now, or lack of. Um, now let's try 21. Money that is covering either empty. Uh, I was going to say it must be brasserie, surely. Money is, yeah, okay. Money is brass, isn't it? I was trying to think of some of the other synonyms for money. I actually thought of bread first. I was thinking breadery, don't know that. But brasserie is going to be the answer. So money is brass, i.e. is idest, which obviously, uh, or that is, is where is why, why i.e. is that is. And that covers either empty. Well, if we empty out the word either, we get rid of the I-T-H-E in the middle of the word and we're just left with the E and the R, which is these, this E and R. We get brasserie. So getting shambolic, you can see, is proving very helpful. Whenever I see this configuration, I always think litotes, <laughs> understatement, anagram of T.S. Eliot. But let's see. It probably isn't. Um, groups of ordinary people. No, it's not, is it? Put down endless, con link no, put down endless connections. Groups of ordinary people uh, put down endless connections um, I think this means groups or groups of ordinary people I haven't got it yet and then I think it's a word that means put down which is going to be endless followed by a word that connections which could be ties actually couldn't it connections are ties are quite like that so groups of ordinary people are going to be um why can't i just write this in groups of ordinary people 
I don't know. I haven't got it. Sorry. Let's try this one instead. Um, move swiftly on. 26 down. Standard. Standard is a horrible word in cryptic crosswords because it can mean like a standard as in a par. You know, the par is the all the norm and then it can mean flag, can't it? And all, all of those sorts of things. Chapter can chapter is a, uh, abbreviated to C though. Okay, so it's canon. Uh, something that's written that's unattributed is anonymous or anon. So C plus anon gives us canon and you know the standard reference work will be the standard canon. Um, let's try two down. I never, I never enjoy these 15 letters without, you know, there's no breaks. So it's literally just an epically long word. Correspondence, Italians swapped, an anagram of Italians maybe, regarding business streamlining. Ooh. Ooh. Correspondence letter. Italians swapped regarding business streamlining i think i don't know what the answer is but the, the way i think this clue might work i quite when when you see this sort of ending a blank 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 n is very often um ah it's very often that asian isn't it now okay where are we getting this o from then because an anagram of italians doesn't have an o in it but if something is regarding something, it's on it. It's on the subject of it, isn't it? So I'm thinking regarding here might be on. And then we have an anagram of Italians above that. So that all looks very plausible, doesn't it? Maybe elation here. Annihilation. Or alienation. Alienation, maybe. salination obviously some of these consonants can be changed salination so i need a word for correspondence five letters and it means business streamlining uh which i should just know it but i don't it's not it's not it's not jumping into my head but that's how i'm thinking about the clue that would give me an i here if that's all correct so our groups of ordinary people. Um, ah, why can't I ah, Simon, your brain? Your brain is awful. I need to have a firm conversation with it. Right, let's have a look at this one. Um, Grant is like Leo. Grant. Okay, I have got that. So <laughs> I was thinking Leo was li lion. So I kept I was I kept on trying to put lion here, and I was thinking I don't know the word. I don't know the word, and then I was panicking. But now I have got it. Um, if you grant someone something, you assign it to them. And Leo is not just the name of a lion; it is the name of a star sign. And the question mark here uh, allows the constructor to use Leo as an example of what what the synonym required is so because leo is uh the leo question mark is saying leo for example and leo is a, an example of a star sign so is like as sign a sign is the answer uh so ties is still possible but then oh put down put down lay laities of course laities okay slightly strange word but the laity uh, are the sort of congregation and they're groups of ordinary people rather than the clergy um, so laities put down laid and when I was reading the clue I was thinking put down as into cull I was thinking of you know if you put down an animal um, but it put, it's much simpler it's just put down as in place down um, so laid plus ties gives us for the for the connections or laid shortened because it's endless plus the ties gives us laities which is the answer and that suggests we are on the right track doesn't it with with our business streamlining um okay should we try well three or four down i think let's try three down it's got a c in it testimony from key study probing immorality Ooh. key study well 
There are two short synonyms for study, which we see a lot. One of them is den, because a den is a room and a study is a room. Uh, there's also the word con, which is an old word um, for to read or to study. I'll show you that just in case it turns out to be relevant. Um, where, have it, where are we going to have it? To study. There we go. So it is, it's interesting. It is an archaic word, but it's, it's become so accepted in cryptic crosswords no one ever thinks twice about it so i'm thinking that this is going to be a word that's either got den or it's either got den or con in it and the problem with the word key is it could mean a key as in a computer key so uh, esc you sometimes see for the escape key uh, but it could also mean a key is in a musical key of which so, so there are a b c d e f and g which are all musical keys so it can be a lot of things probing it and then we need to put a word for immorality around around that and i'm not i thought of sin immediately but sin doesn't look very good with my c here does it testimony keys from key key could be first and then so we could have i keep thinking of ensconce and it's this it's just not that uh, let's try four down attempt i'm thinking try to acquire a sleeveless garment a t for burlesque the uh, mm. Slit of vest, travesty. Okay, okay. It was just a case of coming up with the. I was obsessed with the t-shirt. Then I came up with the more, more helpful sleeveless garment, the vest. So again, look at this A in the clue. It's there for a reason. If this clue read "attempt to acquire sleeveless garment for burlesque," it would mean the same. So what is the A doing there? It's there because it's that A in the answer. So we've got try around a vest to give travesty which means burlesque now we've got an a at the end of this one wine i've not seen this retsina um from lidless container knocked back i don't know i'm going to put retsina in and then we can see is it canister i think it is <laughs> so it's canister uh, which is lidless so it loses its first letter and then we, we knock we knock the whole thing back and we get retsina which is a type of wine um so now have we looked at oh we did look at this put on that's ultimately inferior let's try oh, we looked at this one just now key study evidence is testimony evidence i like as an answer that's got den in it hasn't it so why is that evidence um key maybe it's e for the musical key of e den then would be in vice which is immoral immorality so evidence is testimony okay good let's try 11 across ham ham's a funny word because it can mean overact as well as the sort of meat ham in the end sounds like m became spec Ooh. well well okay this is this is ham as in overact because if you overact you emote and in the end became is saying take the last letter the end letter of the word became that is that e and a spec is a moat let me show you that's quite a strange word moat there you go a spec literally is there it says it a particle of dust so emote is going to be the answer um now what okay so put on clothing that's ultimately inferior I should be i should obviously know that i don't okay let's go back oh because we've got the place in the midlands um i mean it's not leicester is it i, I even said leicester before but i don't see why it's leicester esther is a compound no i wonder i wonder though if it is 
Yeah, I wonder if it is, um, it does end in ester. Because ester is a, is a chemical compound. And if I could come up with a, a word that means boast, like brag, and reverse it. So imagine, um, imagine that was a place, Garbester. So that would have a boast brag about reversed plus Esther. Uh, and that would be, that would be, re oh, Worcester, Crow, Simon. <laughs> I mean, uh, how many ways do I have of just being slow? Uh, when, I, when I've had all the right thought processes and I still can't put the answer in, I'm absolutely hopeless, but Worcester. Okay, so Worcester, we've got Crow. I think I even said Crow f um, for boast about, but, 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 but boast about is one of those interesting things because boast about could be crow, couldn't it? Just without being reversed, because if you boast about something, you do crow. But obviously in cryptic crossword word, we could just take a word that means boast. It doesn't need to be boast about. And then we turn that about. So it can give us the, it can give us the, in, the implication to reverse it. Now, what's that then? Worse? Um, put on. War. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it is worse, which means inferior. Uh, put on, if you put on something, you wore it. And that clothes, that's ultimately. Now that's, that's, that's quite interesting because that's ultimately is saying, take the S, the last letter of the, of the, the, the phrase that's. Whereas that's ultimately, to me, could also be indicating the T. sort of the possessive of the word ultimately I, I yeah so anyway but it, it's it's fine um that so and, and that gives us um oh so rationalization would be business streamlining wouldn't it ratio for correspondence okay rationalization there we go so we've done that one we're, we're getting in we're, we're we're closing in on this northeast corner where we we're having trouble before so go on take it no pressure take it presume go oh, so you're, okay it's resume isn't it if you presume um you take it <laughs> if you presume something you take it as red don't you so that has no pressure we take the p out of it that gives us resume and if something goes on it resumes so that's quite tricky that is quite tricky um sporran i'm thinking now um stigmas at heart so that is not the g is it causing indignity mostly maybe at heart causing is is giving us the s because the middle letter of the word causing is s and then we have a word indignity mostly and it all means stigmas um I haven't got it yet, which is bad. Stigmas are stains. Um, what's this letter? Maybe that's not the way to approach this. Can we get six down? I mean, if we get, get six down, I think we're okay, aren't we? Excellent result for champion. Okay, I have got this now. And this is this is an outrage, really. I mean, it's one of these ones that I'm going to put in and everyone's going to go, what are you talking about? It's defend. If you champion something, if you champion a cause, you defend it. Um, now, a result is the end. It's the outcome, isn't it, of something. And deaf, believe it or not, is a word that means excellent. I'm going to show you that now because it's one of those things that you, you only, you'd only you never see this in, in speech. In my, well, it says originally in hip hop culture. Really? Would people really say that was deaf? Maybe they would, but I've never, ever heard it in speech. But it's something I know from crosswords. So this looks like saffron now. <laughs> How can it? It can't be stuck. It's not that. It's not saffron. Unless saffron has a meaning I don't know. So what's this one then? After initially disregard. Oh, initially disregarding is D. So it's doffs. Oh, it's, it's to tip your cap. 
is to doff. So this 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 I this is more complicated than I'd appreciated. We've got S for succeeded after initially disregarding rotten is not saying disregard the first letter of the word of a word that means rotten. It's saying take the initial letter of the word disregarding, which is the D. Add to that a word that means rotten, where well, something's off, if food is off, it's rotten, and that gives us doffs. So we're just left with this one. Um, and, okay, stigmas at heart. Causing indignity, mostly. Indign affront, so it is saffron. Ah, that's interesting. So, okay, so I was right about causing. A heart causing is this S. And then indignity mostly is a front uh, without the last letter. And that gives us saffron, which must be a word for stigmas. I mean, I'm going to submit this, so let's put it in. Um, and I'd be surprised if it's wrong. It isn't wrong. Um, but, of course, I did not understand that last... I don't only know saffron as a herb. All right. There we go. So it's crocus. I mean, that's that's what I expected it to say when we looked it up. So stigmas. Uh, the part of a carpel that receives pollen, a spiracle. I'm now, have I missed... I'm, I've, I'm now feeling really stupid. I don't understand. <laughs> I've looked up saffron. I've looked up stigmas. I can't see this. I can't see the overlap at all. Crocus. Oh, there we go. It's orange coloured stigmas. There we go. So saffron is a name for the orange coloured stigmas. God. I mean, that's very, but, but which is which is referring to this part of the definition, the part of a carpel that receives, oh, the part of the carpel that receives the pollen. That's, that's tricky, isn't it? I mean, I've never seen that before, stigmas and saffron being synonymous. Um, but that is how to solve this puzzle. Um, it, quite a cool one today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Do let me know in the comments. A, if you enjoy the, enjoy the video. I, we do appreciate that, especially if the comments are kind. But also, if you want us to keep doing these videos, because YouTube thinks that people don't like them as much. So maybe drop a like in. I know it's a pain to do it, um, but we do appreciate it. And it helps convince YouTube that cryptic crosswords are a thing. And, and it needs to know. It does need to know. And as Maverick flies past again, I will say goodbye and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.